Um, everything. Uh, more film or uh, better technique. It's just everything. It just be the little things. You just gotta put it all together. You know, I'm excited. It's a place I obviously was there for four years, so it's a place that I called home for four years, so I'm excited to go back there for sure. Is there anything in particular about going back? You know, I, I'm probably not allowed to any questions yet, but just think about it. Is there anything you really want to do when you're back and not playing for a while? Um, nothing in particular. Like you said, I'm not going to be really allowed to go out and hit the town, but <laughs> if I could, I would. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a record of some sort. Maybe we could we should look it up. <laughs> yeah, I think that in the last whatever five years or so, it's kind of set the tone for the season for that team that comes out on top. So whichever you know, obviously we want to come out on top because I think this could be a game that really sets the tone for our season. Yeah, for me. Yeah, I think it just shows how important this game is, you know, that we just need to pick up the speed with some of the things that we're doing and get better as fast as possible. With a good opponent like Kentucky is, we have to play well in order to win, especially on the road. And I think Eric and Lauren talked about like winning games here at ADM and what the season that you're dealing with, what is it like what just because you've been here for so long. Um, I guess what is it about you? What what, what are you trying to show him um, as you as you prepare for it? Um I try to just keep him locked in on the game in a way. Just kind of show him like when we are crossing the fifty, kind of look and see if he is ready, kind of call him over and be like, all right. What are you thinking here? And just kind of get him mentally prepared for that specific kick. I heard he was just like a pretty organized guy. And like, I don't, like, that just kind of like out for another guy to stand on the floor. But there's, <laughs> what way did you see him, um, like, like, different than other college football players just in terms of organization? I think he's just extremely focused. Like, when I'm going on the field and I look back at him, like, when I'm about to hold, I just look at him and it's like he's looking through me. Like, he, the dude's so locked in. And I just think that helps him in a very good way. Um, I believe the line, we just all have to just be play as one. If we all have together, we know we can do it. So I just feel like we just all need to continue playing together, uh, still focus on the little things, continue watching tape every day, and just focus on the little things. I think it just gives us both confidence in each other and with Daniel as well. I mean, he does an unbelievable job snapping the ball and getting the laces out so I don't really have to spin as much. So I think just repetitive reps with each other and then the last two, obviously we have all last season that we were together. So just that confidence in each other that helps us be successful. Personally, I kind of just prepare for every game the same. So just having the same mindset that it is just an important game, just like any other game. So just going in with the same mindset, I think, would be important for me. Anything else for this group? Yeah, I mean, for both of you guys, just learning the team situation, traveling in Lexington, I'm kind of curious from a player's perspective, when did you find out about that? And what's it like as far as how it impacts what you want to do for game weekend or anything like that? And just what you expect of the travel situation? Um, I think Coach Drink told us the travel situation, what, two weeks ago or so. So we kind of had we already were prepared for this to happen, just traveling on Thursday. But I think it will be maybe a little different, but I don't think it will affect us in any type of way as we're still going to have our fast Fridays we normally do. And then right after that, it's going to be our normal Friday routine. So I think we'll just get into things how we normally do it. Um, I 
I just believe you have to just focus in and uh, just do what you can do. Just focus in on whatever you can do. Um, just take care of your job and whatever you can do. Kiki Chisholm and Boo Smith, if you've got a question, please address the player. Kiki, do you feel like uh, you were talking about before the concussion came or Danny Hughes to kind of set the tone for the season? What are your thoughts on this game, especially after last week, obviously? Um, I think for us, I mean, the mindset is it's a big game because it's the next game. I mean, we try not to put too much weight on any other situation. I mean, our job is to go out there and execute. I mean, it's the, we want to set the tone. We want to start uh, SEC off right, SEC, off, SEC playoff right. Um, this is a, a big test, big challenge on the road. Um, we know it's going to be a hostile environment at night. Uh, so for, for us, it's all, about, it's all about execution. I mean, we're not uh, focused on too much of what they're doing. We just got to control what we're doing. Um, we know if we uh, execute and go out there with the right mindset and mentality um, that things should go in our favor. Mookie, do you remember like, when you played or the details the last time you actually were able to play a football game? Because it's, it's been a while. Yeah, I remember. Um, it was just like the first game. It was more just me getting the feel of the game again, just going out there, getting touches, getting hit again. So really that was really part of my biggest thing from the last game was just going out there and getting hit and just seeing what it's like. Because in practice, a lot of thud. It's not too much really going to the ground a lot. So that's really uh, the biggest thing I gained from that. Who was the, the – who did you play the last time you actually were, were able to be on the field and, and play a game? Uh, state championship game my junior year. So we played Cardinal Ritter, uh High School. So that was my last game. Um, I just knew first off that I wanted to play in the SEC once I left Ohio State. So uh, it really came down to family is really a big thing to me. So this is home. And I know now, like like at the last game, I had like 20 family members come to the game. So, I mean, it came down to uh, trusting Coach Drink and the offense that they got and then where my family can come and be a big support. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of hard at the beginning, but I mean, Coach Hamden did a great job of like, he got us Scotta in. She's one of the like, sports, sports, sports psychology. And psychology, and she like helped us like work on clearing our mind and not focus on too much on the outside world or expectations on Twitter or anything like that. So my biggest thing was just like, focusing on where I'm at, being where my feet are, and then just going out there and do what I can do. The first one, everybody told me the first one could have got big. I just, I misread my block and then, but the other ones, I mean, it just, it was all on me. I can't really put on nobody else. It was just, yeah. Some plays like that, just kind of taste like Yeah, it's just on you. Yeah, once in practice, we rep it, but I mean, it was kind of, this week was a lot of scout work and whatever, so it wasn't really too much full pursuits or whatever, but it's really just more of a field thing and really up to me using my playmaking skills and cutting. I mean, my expectation is just to win every time. It was a deep shot, slant, block, regardless. But that expectation, I saw safety down corner. And I feel like nobody can run with you. So I go to go straight bomb. So. A lot of guys say when you're that open, those are the hardest ones to catch. I mean, yeah. What, what are you thinking when that ball's in the air? I was thinking, I got to go get to this ball. <laughs> I was thinking, like, oh, it's that. I almost stumbled, but I kind of did stumble falling over. Then the ref got in my way. But I mean, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> I think I should have scored. But uh, yeah, those are the hardest ones, just trying to get to it. And also just trust the Bays. But Bays, me and Bays repped it a thousand times in the summer, like just one on one. Just put it under, I'll do the rest. I'm going to get to it, though. <laughs> Uh, I mean, 
mean, he brings a lot of experience to that group. I mean, you talk about a guy that's played a lot of football. I mean, he's played played it at a really high level. I mean, he's a guy. Um, it's pretty much like no tricking him. I mean, he's seen pretty much every time every kind of receiver. So I mean, just adding that um, experience and leadership to guys that we already have in that room, I feel like it's it's critical um, and it, and it's big because I feel like. Each one of those guys over there, they've been able to take pieces of one another's game and add it to their own, and that ultimately just elevates everybody in the room. So, I mean, he's been a great addition to uh, to what they got going on over there, and uh, I'm glad to see him stepping in and contributing the way we knew that he would when he first got here. Um, really just like the atmosphere is going to be big, it's going to be crazy, but like what I said earlier, just focusing on where we are and what we got to do. So they really just been telling me, make sure I'm knowing all my details of my plays, making sure I'm knowing where I'm at, and then it's just all about executing it. We've been practicing with a lot of noise out there, so really it's just executing under pressure. That's really been the main focus and what I'm trying to improve on. Um, my expectations, I didn't really have too many big ones. I just, like I said, I just wanted to go out there and just run and plan and see, see what my foot felt like in live action. Um, I kind of going into in the game, I knew what kind of plays or how I was kind of going to get the ball because it's already been going in practice. So I didn't have too much big expectation. It was really, I just wanted to go see what it felt like being hit and just being out there on the field. I'm looking forward to it all. I mean, the atmosphere, the environment. I mean, this is what you come to the SEC to do. I mean, it's hard to win on the road. So, I mean, that just elevates uh, the focus that needs to go into this week. I mean, you, you talk about everything that we do. I mean, you have to have a, a professional mindset going going into this game that it's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be a four-quarter game. So, I mean, each and every play is going to be critical to focus on the detail and, and doing your job and make sure you're executing the assignments that's going to help this offense uh, win, help this team win games, rather. So, I mean, this is this is going to be a fun game. I mean, like I said, I'm excited for it. It's a big challenge. It's a big game because it's the next one. So, I mean, that's that's all the mindset. That's all the focus that we have, and we need to go win a game on the road. Mr. Yaw, you touched on I'm just, my expectation is just to go out, play my role to the best I can, and then just whatever drink got lined up for me to do, I'm going to go out there and execute the best way I can to help us get this win this weekend. Um, I feel like I'm really comfortable on most areas of the field, probably anywhere for real. It was just during that timing of it coming off my injury, a lot of a lot of routes weren't too I wasn't too comfortable in running. So like a lot of cuts I wasn't too comfortable in or so that's really what limited me running routes like that because I wasn't all the way comfortable. I didn't want to go out there and 
give up a, 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 a letting the defense know I'm about to break down on a route just because I got to raise up or my foot going a little awkward. So, I mean, it was really all based off my feeling of my foot. So I was pretty cool with it where I got the ball. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Like my foot, it's been it's been getting better every day. So. Really, this week, it was been more of me practicing those cuts, like just getting used to it. Like my foot wasn't, my foot don't hurt. It was more like it's not used to getting those cuts again. I was out for a little minute. It's just now getting my range, it was getting my range of motion all the way back and just being back comfortable playing fast. I mean, I think it falls on us a lot. I mean, with the playmakers on the offense, I mean, along with the running backs. So, I mean, you talk about uh, just from an execution standpoint, I think Saturday we were like two for 12 on third downs. I mean, that's not going to win you very many football games in the SEC, especially on the road. You got to be able to keep drives going um, and you got to be able to um, to put up points in the red zone. So, I mean, those have been huge uh, areas of focus and things that we're uh, constantly working on to improve. I mean, each each week, I mean, the main goal is to win the game, but um, no matter how good or bad uh, the tape is, you always got to find room to improvement. Uh, like Coach Drink always says, the big, the biggest room in the house is improvement. So I mean, just looking back from week one, that was that was the alarming uh, statistic that we needed to uh, to raise our attention to. So I mean, um, that going into it, like I said on the road, I mean, it's going to be loud, it's going to be crazy. So I mean. Especially on those third down situations, I mean, we really got to lock in and, and focus on our job to be able to keep those drives going. I mean, a combination of everything. I mean, depending on the situation. I mean, we first is, it starts up front. You got to be able to uh, pass protect or, or run block, whatever the situation is. And then uh, from there, I mean, it's on us whether it's one on one situations, uh, route detail. Um, anything to make it easier for Bays to to make uh, easy reads and uh, make completions to extend drives. So I mean, it doesn't. I mean, like I said, it doesn't fall on one particular person. It's 11 guys on the field out there on third down. So I mean, if the offense isn't converting, then I mean, we're all we're all at fault there. So we all got to look ourselves in the mirror and find each uh, find ways that each individual can improve. So ultimately, our offense can be successful.